Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV Garage. Today, we're gonna to be talking about putting do it on the cheap, do it yourself tie downs in the base model Ford Maverick cargo box. It doesn't have to be expensive. Depending on the trim grade of the Ford Maverick that you get, the cargo box comes with up to 10 tie downs and even a flexible cleat rail system. If you get the base XL, however, like we did with our long-term test Maverick, you get only four bed tie downs, two at the front mounted high and two at the rear mounted at the base of the tailgate. And yes, there are the other two on the tailgate, but the floor at the front of the cargo box only has empty holes. If you want to add tie downs here, you have a few options. One, go to the dealership and pay up to $41 each for the factory parts, two of them, plus up to another 20 bucks for the factory bolts. The other option is a hardware store based DIY collection of parts, which is what we've done here. The key to the deal is finding a suitable tie down with a 1.75 inch bolt to bolt flange. Not easy at all. In my case, I found that Keeper offers a tie down and flush mount cup set that fits this perfectly. The part number is listed below and you can buy these for about $3 each from a variety of big box retailers online or in store. I'm also adding a drop-in plastic bed liner, so I plan to use the flange cups in that installation, but you can leave them off if you just have a plain bed surface or the spray-in bed liner. You will also need four M8 by 125 body bolts available either online or at higher-end hardware stores. I ordered these online with the factory Torx-style head. They came with washers pre-installed. The hardest part and the rub to this project is that you have to thread the holes before installing the tie-downs. You'll need an 8mm by 125 pitch tapping tool and lubricating oil, both available at most hardware stores. Now I have to warn you, the difficulty of time and labor is significantly heightened here because of the tight workspace. This means that because of the hole's location next to the wheelhouse, you cannot use the two-handled version of the tapping tool. I had to use the small one-handled attachment, which is painfully slow and arduous as the steel is nearly a quarter inch thick, but it can be done. You can use self-tapping bolts and bypass the tapping tool routine, but I've had mixed luck with them and prefer to tap the holes manually in spite of the extra strife involved. Once the holes are tapped, cleaned, and fully vetted, you can install the tie downs forthwith. They're simple, but heavy duty and effective whether you use them with or without the cup flanges. Here I'm showing you both ways, bare and with the bed liner and the cup flanges. Either way, much cheaper than the factory hardware. All in, this project cost about $15, and this is actually part of a larger series of projects, including adding outlets to the bed, a cleat system, as well as a drop-in bed liner. You can see all of those videos on our playlist right there, a lot of Maverick content, and the full makeover of our cargo box. You can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there and stay notified of everything we do.